we've been working on peace more than 20 years ago, but uh, lucky this year we, we signed a bill that is going to be, that it was um, published on October uh, 2009. And the idea of that bill, it was keeping support, or keep supporting all the work that the, this ministry has been doing. Um, we have a lot of work with kids and young people and, and we like to, to have more of it all across the country. Um, we have a special department that work on it. Uh, the people who goes around the country, especially on schools, high mm -hmm. schools. And these young people learn how to, to work with peace. Basically, we are trying to culturize people in, in the peace subject, not as something that no one can have but related in with um, food, education, um, health, all, all that stuff that, that we, can, we can think that at the end of it is peace. Mm -hmm. um, these people uh, that work in, uh, along all the country, um, they are trying to make all the activities that are possible with lots of kids. We have, by now we have about 700 um, young guys that are all around the country and we're trying to to have more this year. So these activities are specifically education, educating young people how to practice peace. Yes, every activity that we do is directed on, on that subject mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that make people think that peace is not something that you can have sometimes or, or in because you have a conflict. Mm -hmm. Peace is a, is a, a way to live. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you practice peace in all your life, you can do better if you have a conflict, because we, we can think that we're never going to have a, we're never going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. We are going to, and we need to know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. Why is this uh, department attached to the Department of Justice as opposed to attached to the Department of Education? No, because justice have a lot of, of, of things that, that are uh, very close to, to the peace stuff. We are very close with the court. We are, play, we are very close with the, all the jails. And, and we are trying to do all this peace work with all of them. So we, we, we're just not alone. We are trying to do with any other institutions that could, they can do it. So it includes, uh, besides education, educating young people, it includes uh, kind of restorative justice where people can uh, be reincorporated into society rather than punished in jails for a long time. We believe that is all a process. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to, to make it stronger uh, and work with people before they got into jail, of course. Mm -hmm. and, and with the people that is already in jail, we, we're trying to make a new project uh, come true with their families. Mm -hmm. So we try to make that, that restorative justice that you talk about, because uh, if their families don't support them, they're probably going to, to do it again, it. right? So we have all, all the, we try to make all the work. With them inside the inside the jail, we have some programs, mm -hmm. and outside in, in society, uh, we try to make them um, learn how to manage the conflicts. So these programs in jails as well as in the schools, you've had it for a few years. It's not something new no. that came with this new legislation. No. So what uh, what is the change with this legislation? What is new? Well, the first thing is that we really believe in the in the peace work, right? Mm -hmm. So the the government supports, of course, that subject, and and we are trying to make it stronger with every step that we take. Mm -hmm. This is another step. Mm -hmm. We are trying to make this vice minister that is going to be the peace vice minister stronger. We're trying to make uh, more people to work here, so we can have more people working all around the country, and and we're trying to develop new programs uh, based, based on, on the programs that we already have. Mm -hmm. We know what works, we know that kids love to, to dance, that they love to paint, that they love to, to know how to be a journalist, for example, and so we can show them some of that. The most important things with the young people is that they don't have um, 
time to think about bad things. Mm -hmm. So we need to, to keep them working on something, right? Yeah. So with this uh, new legislation, there has also been assigned some extra budget for all these activities? Not, so far, not yet? Not yet because the, the, the bill was passed on last October. And, and you know that exactly on October we have already done our, our budget. budget. But probably in this 2010 budget, it's going to be an increase. If there is a new uh, uh, government mm -hmm. coming in power, would that be jeopardized, uh, this program that you're trying to develop? I don't think so. Um, peace is a country Universal. subject, not, not, not a government kind of mm -hmm. subject. The people that's been working here have a lot of years. They're not changing every time that we have a new government. And, they've been, and they keep doing it no matter what. So what I am trying to do is to, to, let, to let them know that if they've been doing it for 20 years, they can do it for 20 years more. So I'm trying to make, just give them more um, ways to, to develop in, I mean, to open some other ways to do it. So you're saying the political will is there with the most uh, legislators, whether they mm -hmm. belong to one party or another, they would all support the continuing the development of this program. I can't imagine the, the other side, right? You, you can't imagine some political saying that you don't want to work in peace. Yeah, yeah. So we've been an example for, for a lot of people in, around the world, and we are trying to do it better. Right. In our work, we have some projects that maybe are trying to do a new park for the kids so they can have a place to, to play or, or to have a new school or, or to have a, exactly a community center or something like that. So there are a lot of things that you can do to make peace. It's mm -hmm. not, not only going to talk and say, hey, don't fight. Don't fight, but uh, there, there is the social services that uh, support people to, uh, to not be desperate to attack somebody else for money. Mm -hmm. So you, you are tackling from different angles the same issue of peace. It's not just uh, the mm -hmm. theoretical peace, yes. but where it comes from. We, we are always try to, to work with everybody. And you're for coordinating time. also with uh, non governmental uh, organizations, exactly. NGOs. Exactly. Um, we already have about 90 different organizations that, that are working on, and we're trying to, to join more people in that. Um, we are going as I the same told way. you, yeah. there's a lot of people working on peace and nobody knows. So we, we're trying to have a directory that, we, that people can, no, that people can consult on internet and they know what projects are working. Because we are like to, we have to be like the arm that helps all these people. We can, of course, assume the work that every organization does. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea is to make them uh, work together if they have a project that is similar or if we can support a project, we do it. So that's the idea of this, that uh, yeah. this change. Do you think it's a little easier for Costa Rica to uh, embark in this uh, project of peace than, say, other underdeveloped countries like, uh, I don't know, Haiti or Honduras, where uh, there is more injustice, more inequality, and therefore more difficult to, to have peace? Well, we have a um, long trajectory already, and maybe the other countries don't, but that doesn't mean that they can't do it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's easier for Costa Rica than it would be for... I, I mean, by, that's, by this point, it is easier for us because mm -hmm. we've already been working. Yeah. But that depends on, on the people and if they really want to do it or not. Mm -hmm. if, if those countries decide to, to have a new culture of peace, they can do it. But your priorities there. Some countries might say, yeah, that is a good idea, but we have many other things to of do, course. so it's not their priorities. So but they don't know that it must be a priority because yeah. it, it's, I mean, goes over all the priorities that they have. If they want to give kids a school and they want to have healthy kids and if they want to have food for the kids, all that means peace at the end of it. End, we, sure. we ask someday a kid or some group of kids that please write down a word that they thought peace means, peace. Pe yeah, peace means. And one of them wrote down bread. Yeah. So, I'm telling you. Uh, housing. If you're in the streets, you need housing. So all those things converge into this peace work that you're doing. Exactly. Um, 